In this question, an investor invests 1,000 euro at 10% per annum for five years, and we're interested in working out how much she'd have at the end of the five years. At the bottom is another question that you can try yourself in parallel. So, starting, we can see that this is an amount of 1,000 euro being invested. So it's one amount, so we can just use the compound interest formula a equals p times 1 plus i to the power of n. So reading the question carefully, a is the final amount which we're looking for, p is the principal, how much we invest at the beginning, so in this case it's a thousand euro, i is the interest rate, in this case it's the interest rate per time period per year, which is 10 percent, percent means per 100, so it's 10 out of 100, which as a decimal is 0.1, you should always convert it to a decimal and n is the number of time periods. The number of time periods is 5 for 5 years. So try doing the same for the question at the bottom. Your answer so far should look like this. So now we'll take the values we have for our question and fill them into the formula. So a is equal to p is a thousand by 1 plus i, so it's 1 plus 0.1 and it's to the power of n, so n is 5. So we need to simplify down this to find our answer. So 1 plus 0.1 is 1.1 to the power of 5. So filling this into our calculator, 1.1 to the power of 5 is 1.61051 and this is all multiplied by 1000. So our final value is 1610.51. We need to present our answer in the units, so in this case in euro, and we can present it to a reasonable level of accuracy. In this case the exact answer is 1610.51, euro 51 cent. But you could round it off to the nearest euro or to whatever level of precision you require. Now try doing this for the question at the bottom. Check your answer here you can see that we have rounded the answer to the nearest cent. So as it's 0.723 and the 3 is less than 5, we round down to 0.72. Okay, that's it.